sports. It's in the game. Okay, so welcome to my broadcast. It's uh, just gone 10 18 a.m. GMT on Saturday, the 29th of October 2022. Uh, this is going to be a fairly long running broadcast and it concerns the next generation of F1 drivers. Um, some of these have been confirmed as. Moving to new, t uh, moving to a team for their first time in F1. We start with Oster P Oscar Piastri, who has replaced fellow Australian Daniel Ricciardo at McLaren. He won the title in two thousand, uh, the F two title in two thousand and twenty one. Then what I'm going to do is going to select the a winner, winning race of one of those drivers as well. There's been a lot of drivers over the last few Grand Prix that have been having their practice one debuts. They are P Piastri hasn't been uh, Piastri <coughs> hasn't done much of that. Pachere was driving for Alfa Romeo recently, doing for Alpine. Sergeant, good chance for the Williams seat, although there's still. No confirmation that TV is leaving Williams, and Lawson has also had a test drive, a practice drive with Alpha Tauri. There's also Nick De Vries, who there's also Nick De Vries, yeah.
De Vries is going to go to Alpha Tauri next year. So we start with Piastri and one of the races that Piastri won was the Jeddah Grand Prix. And that's what we're going to do. We've got F2 2022. So we can't do them on F Formula 1 cars, but we can do them on F2 cars. This is the Jeddah Grand Prix. Let's have a look at that. So you can see there's some track records for the F2, Piastri, Piastri 2021. Now I have to select Piastri. Uh, Piastri won't be on here because that's 2022. Okay, so that will be F2 2021. There's uh, Schwartzman who also had a drive Ferrari recently. There's Piastri. Let's check two through all these drivers. So Schwartzman, Piastri had a season off. Grand Reju is now the uh, the first ever Chinese Grand Prix driver driving for Alfa Romeo. Drogovic won the F2 title in 2022. He has got an Aston Martin reserve seat, I believe, and is going to be testing in Abu Dhabi. Doug Tickton is a Formula E driver. Duvela drove this year. Liam Lawson and Vips. Christian Lungard, IndyCar driver, and Pachere drove this year. Vachure, the Dutchman, and Zendaley. Enzo Fittipaldo, grandson of Emerson Fittipaldo, double world champion. The Brazilian claimed his titles in 1972 and 1974 in a Lotus car and a McLaren car. Guilherme Samad, don't know what he does now, motorsport wise. Winnesley, the Israeli, and Marcus Armstrong, the New Zealander. David Beckman and Boshong. Jack Aitken doesn't drive anymore for F2. Dileda. Bent Viscal. And Sato. There you go, Piastri. Okay, let's look at the settings. Welcome to my broadcast. I'm going through the drivers that are the next generation of F1 drivers. Um, so it includes F2. It have to drive them on F2 in F2 cars. But can drive on circuits like F1. We start Oscar Piastri, who is going to McLaren to replace his fellow teammate Daniel Ricciardo, and he won the uh, F1 20, sorry, the F2 2021 season. Um, 
and has earned his right to that seat. There's a lot of uh, F2 drivers driving at the moment on practice uh, ones for some of the teams. And then in Abu Dhabi, at the end of the season, there's a drunk driver's test, so there'll be lots more drivers testing there as well. Okay, so... AI difficulty is hard. 60, manual race start. Rules and flags. Corner country is strict as it is in real life. Now, this is a setting unique to the F122 game and its immersive pit stop experience. You need to do the pit stop yourself, otherwise you'll get, you won't get the best out of it. Put it on broadcast and it'll be looked after you automatically like it is in any other editions. So that's that one there. I'm going to keep that one on. It makes things interesting. <clears throat> won't tinker with the weather and time of day. We can structure. There's no practice, but I'm going to do full qualifying. And then on the race format, we're just going to simply do... <coughs> I thought you could do sprint only. You can't. You can only do feature race. Okay, and we'll make it short because we're doing quite a few drivers. I have a steering wheel, not uh, sorry, I have a controller, not a steering wheel on a PS4, and my assists are braking assist medium, traction control medium, automatic gearbox, pit assist off, pit release assist on, EOS assist on, and DOS assist on. I'm going to change the pit assist to on. Start the events. It's a randomised grid. Oh, sorry, it's a qualifying. So, not my favourite circuit, Jeddah, by any means. So yesterday in the um, the first practice. So in the first practice yesterday at the Mexico Grand Prix, Lawson was 16th, Sergeant 17th, De Vries was 18th, 19th was Duin, and Pietro Fittipaldi is 20. Pietro Fittipaldi doesn't appear on any of these games, but he is the brother of Enzo Fittipaldi that we mentioned before. The car setting screen on your multifunction display will allow you to change various settings as you drive. Open the display with the MFD button, and you can then navigate up and down to the setting you want to change. <coughs> so look at session info. And you'll see that we have 30 minutes left. There's a clear track. If you go to there, you can see the compound's being used. There's a, there, get a few laps in. there you can see some action. And we'll exit there. Um, go to track setup maybe. Um, there is no setup, okay. Okay, go to track. Gonna drive out. <clears throat> this is the first time I've ever driven as Piastri. It's just a very fast street circuit. Long 
one way wide there. to the left hand side to the left
It's to the left. We're 20th in the speed trap, 179.9 miles per hour. So, session info. Good. Just under 20 minutes left. Track is clear. Let's have a look at the car setup, shall we? Oh, we should have done that earlier. <coughs> okay, so what we'll do is go to track. But this time we'll do a flying lap. We'll see five red lights and then when they disappear you're on your own but there's no timing of the lap until you start when you, until you get to the start starting line it's the left out you see So one thing I need to do is improve my <coughs> oh, top speed in the speed truck.
Back to my broadcast. Ooh. I'm currently uh, driving F2 cars as drivers that could be the next generation of F1 drivers. And in fact, this driver, Piastri, will move to Leclaren to replace his fellow Australian, Daniel Ricciardo. So I take these drivers and find a place where they've won. It's 30, 30 minutes qualifying. And then a short feature race. nice and quickly to the lap there. Go come in. Yes, yeah, so over the last few Grand Prix, there's been a lot of uh, drivers Appearing in practice one for the Formula One teams. And that all builds up nicely to next season's driver lineup. And indeed, the regular driver test at the end of the season at Abu Dhabi. Young driver test. We had to spend time repairing the damage to the car. So we've still got 11 minutes left. Whether it's still good. On your current levels of tire wear and damage, press the MFD button to open the multifunction display, and then again to cycle to the tires and the damage screen. Okay, our best lap so far is a 1 minute 53.7. You can see that we are a long way back on the lap times. That doesn't surprise me. Twenty second in the speed trap, one hundred and eighty one point six miles per hour. Well done, Craig. Craig was twenty twenty one there, uh, very good driver, and he's now got his steering wheel to improve even further. Okay, so flying up again. to the left hand side and away we go
Jeddah to Saudi Arabia. Thirty minutes of qualifying and then just a short feature race. Stop to the left again. Still a long way off the pace. lap this one Pits to the left. So well into my broadcast, it's, uh, so well into my broadcast, it's uh, just gone 10.51 a.m. GMT. GMT. And this broadcast is concerning the next generation of F1 drivers. F1 drivers. So Oscar Bizarre Piastri here, Can't driving, has, so has joined McLaren to replace his fellow Australian, Australian. Daniel Ricciardo. Piastri, won, Piastri, sorry, the uh, Australian won the F2 2021 season. There are other drivers that uh, we're going to later. We do 30 minutes on these streams, we do 30 minutes qualifying and then a short feature race. And we also take the race that the driver has won in there. So look at the session info. And that's us 21st in the speed trap, 183.2 miles per hour. We don't have enough time. A 
let's have a look at stuff. The game is still a long way behind, very poor. There's a lap of Guan Rizhu, who's actually Alpha Mayor now, the Chinese Grand Prix driver. His seat is assured for next season. Alongside Valtteri Bottas at Ralph Romeo. So if you watch these, you can get an idea of how best to drive the tracks. Going through that list of F2 drivers. Now we've all done a lot of work for this circuit on the simulator, but nothing beats real data. Bear in mind the car's capability changes based on track conditions, so your reference points may not always be in the same place. The grid is all set for the race tomorrow, but before we go, let's quickly remind ourselves of our top three, which are Armstrong, Lungard, and Yuri Vips. Goodbye for now. circuit where the excitement is building for what I'm sure will be an exciting Formula 2 race here in Saudi Arabia. So let's examine the Jeddah Street circuit. As you can see, this has the potential to be a very challenging track for our young F2 drivers. We'll get a good chance to see which of them have been able to best capitalise on their time spent here in practice earlier this weekend. Like the other street circuits on the calendar. The lack what of cars are uh, uh, driving in the GT Cup, uh, Craig? If the drivers get it wrong, let's hope we avoid having to bring out the safety Please. car this time around. Please. Here are the starting positions for today's race. A fantastic effort from Marcus Armstrong yesterday puts him on pole position, with Christian Lungard alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Vips, Fittipaldi. Marino Sato and Dragovic. Nissani, Schwartzman, Porcher, Richard Vashaw, Joe, Samaya, Ben Fiskal and Aitken. Lawson, Deruvela, Beckman and Alessio Deleda. Tictum, Zendeli, Boschong and Oscar Piastri completes the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. So we was being on our lap times over s eight seconds slower. It's going to be a case of just holding on to them at the back. Okay, so start the base. Touch control as it is. Like in a car. So now, how can we drive on here? I'm not an expert by any means. Let's get to the left hand side.
engine off and wait for the marshals. Okay, so you had a crash, and if you have a crash, there are different uh, settings there. But I'm just going to uh, press the red circle, and that will give you the option to restart the session or retire for the session. I'm going to restart the session. I'm not going to do this that often on these broadcasts, but Pajedo is not one of my favourites. time. Very untidy. to the left.
it's on the left again. on the left hand side again one a lap Let's see if we can improve this now Okay, so that's um, Piastri, who, just to uh, reiterate, has will have his first season in F1 next year, the Australian 
is replacing his fellow Australian Daniel Ricciardo at McLaren. Next up, which will be later on tonight, will be Theo Pechere, or Pechere, I'm not sure how you pronounce his name, uh, the Frenchman, and he will be Pachero won at Bahrain and I shall be doing that on the next stream Okay, so thank you for watching Casper again. Uh, follow me on Twitter at SportyPH2, Motorsport updates and football updates. Um, so uh, the virus has not completely gone. I live in the UK and it's obviously, like many countries, got a lot better. Uh, if you get the virus now, it's a little bit less severe. It's still around, so it's entirely up to you. But if you want to wear your mask, then I would say it's entirely a personal decision to do that you're not obliged to now which is good um, and if you are having your booster vaccinations and indeed flu jabs hopefully they be go okay for you as well uh, there has been some reactions to some of the flu jabs uh, as I understand so anyway thanks for watching catch you again uh, you will carry on this uh, broadcast it's quite enjoyable for me um, but also I'm doing a Sebastian Vettel tribute season recap of 2017 on the game 2017 um, this was the season where Hamilton was a three time champions winner three time world champion against Vettel's four, remember Vettel claimed his titles in 2010, 11, 12 and 13 um, and it was quite a close season in the end quite a close season and so I'm reenacting it I'm on to the third Grand Prix, I forget what it is, I've done two of them anyway. I, uh, that's a long running broadcast and should be finished by the time that Sebastian Vettel retires at the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix mid-November time. So, Okay, thanks for watching, catch you again, bye bye.